You just want the beautiful handstand with this effortless entry, yet you get frustrated because kicking up like this feels a lot harder than it looks. Then watch this video to level up your entry game. When it comes to kicking up into a handstand, there are two common mistakes people often tend to do. First, they start randomly trying a handstand from standing position without understanding how to balance the solid handstand out. By doing this, a lot of things can go wrong, which results most likely into a banana handstand, falling over, or even on your back, which can be really frustrating. Another really common mistake is the kick up with the back against the wall. This often results in a banana handstand or a slight backbend. It becomes hard to get into a straight handstand from there, especially when you're new to handstanding. Another downside to this is that you rely on the wall to catch you and you kick up harder than you would without the wall, which means if you were freestanding, you would fall over due to too much momentum. The scissor entry is a very good way to learn to kick up to handstand. With this one, we want to place the hands on the ground first. By doing this, we can stack up the elbows and shoulders above each other, right from the start. So we have a strong base to work with compared to the kick up you saw in the beginning of the video. Next, we want to find the right speed to perfectly hit the sweet spot. This needs a lot of practice and precision. Remember, engaged legs and pointed toes will help you with this a lot. More tension leads to more control. As you get good with one leg, try to alternate between right and left foot being the leading leg to really master the kick up to its best. As this should only be a kick up drill, try not to balance your handstand out. Just find the right speed and fall back to the ground. Failing is very good here. Remember, it helps you to know when it's too much or when it's too less speed. It's best to master a variety of movements. Same applies for the handstand and the entry options. The tuck entry is another great way to build confidence and balance in the kick-up phase. When training these tuck kicks, you want to focus on the momentum and power you put into the kick-up. Ideally, you keep the balancing out of play, which means your fingers shouldn't be working at all. The goal is to find the sweet spot in which you could just hold the handstand. The sweet spot is the spot in which everything is aligned and feels effortless. It takes multiple tries to find this spot regularly. Sometimes you kick too much and sometimes too little, but as we all know, it's practice that makes us better. Working with the box can also be very helpful to get a really good feeling and more control when it comes to the kickups. For this drill, you should be able to balance the handstand out. As we work more controlled, this is much harder than the normal kickup itself. Bring one leg right above your stacked shoulders and carefully kick off with the other leg from the box, maintaining tension everywhere. As you bring your legs together, make sure you're not falling over. Press your fingers into the ground, trying to prevent this to happen. Release the pressure as you feel comfortable and bring the opposite leg down on the box and repeat this for reps and sets. The beautiful scissor entry isn't an entry that we recommend for beginners. Firstly, because it requires a lot of balance and accuracy. Secondly, it comes with more momentum and variables like the hand placement. Once you feel comfortable in your hand center with the other entries, go on and incorporate this one into your practice. But until then, you can save yourself time and frustration by just leaving them aside. The best way to nail this entry is to focus on where the hand should go and already starting with slightly elevated shoulders. When the first leg kicks off the ground, the second leg follows immediately with the glutes engaged. Again, you probably need some time to figure out how much momentum you need to find the sweet spot. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on mobility, strength and skill tutorials. For more information, visit our website, the link is in the description below.